machine. So now we're taking it and we're screening it using a we're what using size a sieve? Number 24. A number 24 sieve. And if I was really sweating it, I would use something finer, but uh, this is just a coarse sieve to uh, get the big chunks out. Make sure that I don't have anything in there that will damage the machine. The material has to be screened to 24. You just have to do it as part of the deal. Because if you have anything bigger than 24 go through this little machine, you're going to hurt it. So this is what it looks like from the top as you're looking down into it prior to putting your material in. Just for fun, I'm going to throw this bottle of gold in there. <laughs> I'm not sure what's in there. So we'll make sure we see it. Okay, that way we know that that bottle made it in. Yeah. Hey, you can actually see those particles too. They're pretty big. Yeah, well, awesome. Some of them are, some of them are. Right. Well, they're all smaller than 24 anyway. Okay, so we start spooning the stuff in there. And this one here is set up so it's really hard to overload it. It, uh, it takes good care of itself. Just spoon the stuff in there. And okay, and you can see the black sand that's coming out of the bottom running into the bowl. Now if you got really super, super fine gold, like beach gold, probably want to run two passes, maybe a third. But you don't have to stop the machine to do that. All you have to do is just swap out the bowl for a clean one. Hold it in the in the water underneath the running machine until it's uh, it's got it's full of water. And start spooning it right out of there. It's just keep spooning the material through there on a second pass and that will uh, you'll get your second pass with that but uh, you don't have to stop and clean out but if you you know, watch this thing once in a while if you see gold showing in there it's probably full and it's time to stop and clean it out do it again this machine makes it so that you uh, have an easy way to concentrate your uh, material that you've got out and gotten out of the field. It, uh, it condenses it down to the heaviest couple of cubic centimeters uh, from your basically your bank run that you ran and condense down to the field. So just bring it home or set it up in camp with this little research. You need 110 volts. Run your uh, run your pump, run your motor, and uh, it's pretty pretty basic. You can see as the water runs clear, and then as you add material, it pumps the sand back out. Okay, let's see what you got left in the well, bucket. I'm, I've spooned out most of it, so okay. I'm gonna tip the bucket over on the edge so I can get, get at this stuff, and, and I'll use the little wand to rinse the bucket into the machine. You know, um, we've only three minutes, and you've run however much that was. It's pretty, yeah, it's, pretty it's about quick. it's about a cup and a half, two cups, something like that, two cups. And uh, you know, this machine will process easily process a gallon in an hour. So these are batch processing machines. So they will condense and grab a hold of the heaviest two cups out there and a teaspoon here of the material you put through it. So, let's see how he able to... Kind of wipe off the, the wand a little bit. So you don't want to run the machine without water. Water, water stop won't hurt. But, okay. you don't want to feed material into it when it's uh, when there's no water flow. And this isn't a high pressure flush nozzle here or anything, so it's a little, no. it's a little cumbersome getting there. With, uh, with the little bit of gold you added to this bucket, did you know what was in it prior to doing that? Gold. 
So you haven't run this material before? I made sure that there was going to be something to show. Okay. That way, you know, we're padding it just to show that, yes, it will pick it out. Yeah. I wanted to make sure there was something to show there. Okay. I didn't have very much gold lying around. I don't know very many people who do. So we just flushed out the bucket. I'm okay. just going to stick the wand back in there. I'm going to let it run and wring itself out for a minute. Okay. She's running clear, so she's holding everything she'll hold. Okay. Now we're going to... Now we're going to disable the water first. Water first. Off. Now we let it run for a moment. Okay. Let it wring so itself out. No more water left. Now we're going to... Yep. So now that's probably long enough. Out. It's done running water out, so we'll stop it. We take the top assembly off, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna not show you what the, the feed assembly looks like. If you want to see it, you gotta buy one. Fair enough. Tell me when you want me to stop it. Now you don't have to stop all I'll, I'll set it aside. So we just take these three bolts off. This is really easy to disassemble. You yes, just take those bolts off. Yep. Mm -hmm. We just set the whole assembly right in the tub. Take this top cover off, set it aside. Now, I um, want to stress there that it this is. is. You can see the gold in the machine right now. Okay. And I, of course, came out without a sucker bottle. See that? That is gold. Um, tell me what the sucker bottle does. Okay, this is just a plain, ordinary, everyday sucker bottle. You get them at any mining supply store. It's just got a straw in it and you use it to flush the sand to the bottom. If you look in here, you'll see there's no sand in the bottom hardly. It's all up in the rings here. Right. And the gold is stuck in the rings. You can see a piece mm -hmm. there and a piece there. So we're going to fill her up with water with the sucker bottle and suck the ring out. No, it's going to suck the, the gold's coming into this bottle now yep, too. Yep, it's everything, all the sand is coming into the bottle. Aren't you worried that you're going to squeeze it back through? No, because the straw keeps the sit keeps the gold right here but the straw goes up there oh, so the stuff okay. falls down here I see that's how these little they call them snuffer bottles and it bubbles because of the jet dry, jet dry. which means I can't see a dratted thing but that's just the price we pay for jet dry but it also means it won't float away yeah the gold won't float and when you're dealing with beach gold, it floats the slightest provocation. Okay. And this machine is designed to keep that fine stuff 